Hey guys, Dr. Brown here with Kubo Math, and tonight we have third through sixth grade, another one of these crazy international problems. 5A times 2B equals 1,378. Whoa. Well, just like we've been doing, how did we solve the other ones? We just begin. Just start walking through this like you would normally do write down what you see, back up from it, don't let your hair catch on fire, <laughs> okay? And just think about it, just think. Okay, what do we have? A times B equals eight. Hmm, A times B equals eight. Now we don't know if there's two digits, you know, they, if that's 18, 28, 38, we don't know because there could be a carry. So five times B equals what? A1. Five times B equals A1. Well, two times A, well, we bring our zero down, then two times A equals six. Two times, I'm putting a dot for multiplication. Two times A equals six. Two times five equals 10. Hey, we know that one. <laughs> now then, eight plus zero equals eight. No carry. Six plus one equals seven. No carry. A plus zero equals three. Oh, what does that mean? Well, that means A equals three. A plus zero equals three. Well, this one's not going to be so difficult. Okay, A equals three. So A equals three. So now we have three times B equals something eight. Now, do we think there's another digit? What's the multiples of three? Three. 6, 9, 12, 15, 8, ah, 18. See, there, there's no 8 in here until I get to 18. Also, uh, the other thing that we could look at here, if this is 18, I have a carry of 1. So 5 times B plus 1 If, if, that's an 18, would equal A1. Well, what was A? It was 3. So now I could have 5 times B plus 1 equals 31. Well, let's subtract 1 from both sides. So 5 times B plus 1 minus 1 equals 31 minus 1. So plus one, minus one, the ones cancel. So I end up with five times B equals 31 minus one, which is 30. Okay, now then, I want to know what B is if I divide both sides by five. Five divided by five is one. If you say zero, no supper for you. Okay, B equals 30 divided by 5, which is 6. So our thinking is that B equals 6, A equals 3. Well, let's challenge ourselves here. So we would have 53, 53 times 26, and we're thinking that equals 1,378. 6 times 3 is 18. So far, so good. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 1 is 31. So far, so good, because this was A, that's A, and those two numbers are the same. All right, Christine, what do you do? Bring a zero down. All right, now, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 5 is 10. 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 plus 0 is 3. Bring the 1 down. 
So 53 times 26 is 1,378. So A equals 3, B equals 6. All right, that one was not so bad because of this A plus zero gave it away. So in any of these, just start walking through, write down what you know, and go through every step. See if you have a potential carryover, like in this case an 18 would bring over a, num a number. Whereas since it, if it was just eight, it couldn't be just eight. Since we'd already solved for A, it, 8 was not a multiple of 3. So it told me, oh, I need to carry. So, all right. Why are we doing this? Together we're trying to build a better tomorrow and do that through math. You parents out there, link up with your local schools and let's help these kids find out what supplies they may need at school and let's help them out. Okay? That's all for now. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks.